your calendar. This is going to be an important topic for TTP because you are going to have to sit down with your team, your trainer, your parents, or whoever, and you're going to have to decide every single race that you are planning to do for the next 12 months. So as your trainer, I need to know which race do you want me to prepare you for, right? So that's going to be quite of a stretch, okay? Because there's a lot of folks out there, I hear that all the time, they kind of go on the go where they are going to plan to go on a race and depending on how they go, they may hit one race and they may go to that race. You know what, that national is super close to our house, so we may do that one. And they just go through their year, kind of just pick and choose to all the races that they want to do. Um, here's what I say to you guys. As a hobby, no problem, have fun doing that. But if you want to maximize your potential and be serious in your sport, all of those races need to be prepared. So you're gonna have to sit down and decide what are your goals this year? What are going to be the most important races that you wanna do for this year? Are we targeting the world championship? Are we targeting the Grand National? Are we chosen by our country to go to the Olympic? And so on and so on. That, we need to know that, right? And we need to train you for those reasons. Some people may choose to target not a race, but an entire championship. Do you want to go through the French championship? If you race for the FQSC in Quebec, does the Quebec championship mean something to you? Do you want to get that first place? Um, if you live in the United States, USA BMX, are you targeting every national or are we going to just hit and miss some and then focus on that grand national at the end? Nevertheless, regardless what you are planning to do for that year, you need to tell me your goals and you need to tell me every single race that you want to do. So if you go on the website, on the calendar page, you're going to have a bunch of races. Race number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 20. If you have more than 20 races that you're planning to do for this year, you just submit more than once. So it'll be no problem with that. So name of the race one. Grand National is done and you're planning to go to the Silver National race in Las Vegas. So name of the race, Silver National. All right, race start. So you are going to tell me the start of the race. So if it's a whole weekend race, let's say uh, Thursday, Friday, like the Grand National, I think they start racing on, on Wednesday, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all that just right the first day of that race, all right? So if you race July 4, 5, 6, 7, just write down July 4 on the, on the website before you submit. And then race level, this is gonna be important. Race level, race level one are races that are not so important. Race number two are races that are very important and race number three are the most important race that you wish to do this year. So as an example, race number three, I would assume that if you are planning to go to the world championship, that's gonna be a pretty darn important race for you for that year. So that would be a race number three. So if you're gonna put world championship, all right, a start date of it, you're gonna put race number three on that, all right? Uh, if you want to go, let's say, the grand national, like the biggest race in the world, right? Well, you are going to put level three on this. As an example, level two races are races that are important but not the most important race. Let's say your, your goal is to do the French championship and the world championship that year. Well, the level two races will be all your heat of the French championship because they're important because there's a point system. So you're going to put level two on all of those. And then at the French championship, like that final event, you're going to put level number three. Right? And then, like I said, if you're planning to go to the European championship or to the world championship that year, those will be all level three races. And level one races are, I would say, if there are like pro-am races that you want to hit, that you have an opportunity to, to just earn a bunch of cash, you know, uh, you can put those races as a level one race where they're not affiliated to any championship. They're not a part of your goals per se, but you want to just do these races. Sometimes it could be a practice race. Like if you're not racing that often, let's say you want to do one race a month or something like that. Um, well, 
you still need those races to kind of study your pack riding to see where you're at on your training program call them like practice races those will be level one races please don't write down all of your weekly local races right that i don't need to know about that if you have if you're planning to do the friday local race and saturday local race that will just take place of your training session on your program you will have uh a day to do a BMX session, right? So if you're planning to race a local race, that's what you do. You work on whatever I told you on your training program, and then after that, you just hit your three laps of local races, and those are practice races. You do not need to write those down the calendar, right? So I hope all that makes sense as far as the level of the races. Something that's gonna be important to talk about is that it takes a certain amount of time to prepare for some races. So for that reason, you cannot put level three races two months after you just sign up with TTP. Like I need some time to build your body, train your body so that you're prepared for these races. So don't sign up and a month later put level three races. It's not going to happen. I'm going to email you back so you have to change that. All right. So as a rule, I wrote down on the website. So level two races can only occur eight weeks after signing up. Okay. So that will give me enough time for you to get you in shape and then hit level two races. Level three races can only occur 22 weeks after you sign up. This is the amount of time that I'm going to need minimum to prepare you for those big races. And then the last thing I need to talk to you about is that don't put more than four level three races per year. All right. Another word, if you are planning to race every single like 50 week out of the whole year, like every single weekend you're racing and racing and racing and racing. You cannot put level three on all of them, right? Because as a trainer, I need to prepare you for these races. And if I prepare you from these races, they are part of your training program that we are going to have to train your strength and focus on that only. While we're going to focus on that only, you are going to get tired. So if you put level three races at that weekend that we build that strength, you're not going to be racing at your max, right? That is impossible to maximize your potential on every single races. At some point you will get tired. So that's why we need to prioritize some race more than another. It's called training and periodization. You have to target some of your goal and space them out so that we have time to train hard then we can rest, transfer that strength on your bike, make you rest a little bit and make you peak for that big event. All right. And then we'll repeat that based on your result that you have done on that, on that big race. We're going to tweak a few things. We are going to readjust and we're going to retarget another race. For that reason, you cannot be putting level three races all year long. So I put about four at the max. So four would be for a very advanced rider could be the Olympic. If you're going to the Olympic could be world championship. If you want to do the European Championship, that main event would be that. Uh, and if you want to go to the United States and then do the Grand National, that's about it. So if on that year you're doing well in the Olympic, you're doing well in the World Championship, you're killing at the Grand National, and you win your French Championship, I mean, you're doing pretty darn well here. All right. So those would be the level three races of your year. All of the others that you're going to do will be level two. We're going to make sure that you're rested, but perhaps you may not be completely done with your strength phase. So we're going to have to work that out a little bit. And then the level uh, one races, we're not going to care much about it. You know, we're just going to be on your calendar. I may have you do a lot of load of strength. You may be tired. You're just going to hit the race and it is what it's going to be. If you show up tired, you use other skills, you use your pack writing skills and you train that part. But sometime you may surprise yourself. You know, I am your coach. I am not a magician. You know, even though I can do everything that I know how to do to make you peak at a certain race, the body sometimes does weird things. I cannot predict that you may wake up that morning with a headache or on the opposite side, on a race that it's a level one, you may show up and be like, Darren, I feel great today and then just go kill it. So 
there's a little bit of margins of mistake over here. Doha can help you doing everything that we can to get you peak there. Uh, most likely that's going to work, but we cannot predict all that. So even if you have a race that says level two and you want to do well at that race, don't let that number two fool you. You might as well show up and beat your personal record on that track. All right. So keep that in mind. One way I like to think of it is that if you were to put 10 races level three or throughout a few years, out of the 10 races, you're probably going to show up nine, eight or nine in perfect shape. The other two, you may, be, you may be tired, you may be a little bit sick, you may have a headache or whatever it is, but you're going to have most likely eight out of 10 level three races, you're going to show up and you're going to kill it completely. Okay. Level two races, you're probably going to be 50, 50. All right. And level one races, probably eight races out of 10, you are going to be tired because you're training session were too heavy and so on and so on. So it is not 100% accurate, but it's pretty darn accurate. So again, I don't want you to let that number fool you. I want you to do the best that you can. Be smart about how you fill out your calendar for me. And most likely you are going to do just fine. And the last thing I want to talk to you about, even though I gave you example of what a level three race should be, I am not the athlete here. You are the athlete and you are telling me what it's important to you. So it doesn't need to be the grand national level three races. All right, this was just an example that I gave you. You are telling me what is important to you. If you watch my documentary on my BMX career back 20 years ago when I was an athlete, um, there's a perfect example of a race that was very important to me and I put a level three on that race. Um, I told my trainer that this race was going to be the most important race of the year for me, even though it was not an important race for what my original goal was. The reason why that race was important to me is because I lived in France and raced for like four years. And that race happened to be a race where it would be on my hometown in Quebec, Canada. So. For that reason, my parents was going to be there, uh, my, all my friends was going to be there. And because I was doing my career in Europe, nobody was ever able to come to the races to see me race. Right. So for me, that race was an opportunity to show my family the fruit of my hard work, you know, and I wanted to show up prepared. So I told my trainer, I said, this is my one opportunity to go out there and do well. And I want this race to be one of the important, most important races of the year. If you watch the movie, I explain it in detail. But nevertheless, I prepared that race. I mean, my trainer prepared me for that race. And I did well on that race. But again, that was not an important race. It would be like the equivalent of a pro-am in America. Like that race was not affiliated to any important championship. It was just a race that was important to me because it happened to be on my hometown. All right. So again... That is your decision to tell me what do you want me to train you for. Once you give me your calendar, I will look at it and I will build your training program to train you based on what you told me to do. So again, you are in control here. So sit down with your trainer, with your parents or whoever is in, on, in your team and decide what race are we shooting for this year. And you're going to write it them down. You're going to put your mind into it this year. This is what you're going to be training for and you're going to submit. I give you a training program and you will have a clear path of what you need to be doing for the next 12 months ahead. Fill out your calendar, submit, and I'll start building your training program. All right. Good luck for your season.